one big loud clap for me. Coach, could you describe the 22-23 season to me in a few words? Yeah, I think it was one that started off with good um, energy and a lot of people were, you know, working hard and working towards a common goal. But I think just at the end of the day, we just fell a little bit short with our desire to want to be highly competitive as a group together and then just our leadership in a lot of ways. But I think it was a great learning experience for everybody involved to take into the next season because you always have to have a platform and a base. And I think we de de developed uh, just an idea of where, what we didn't want to do and what we wanted to become. Um. A roller coaster, uh, a lot of ups and downs, but starting off the season strong, we had a lot of guys with really good talent. And then just going through adversity with injuries and then guys in and out of the lineups with different situations kind of just hindered us that last year. But um felt like it was a pretty, pretty much a roller coaster. I would say uh, it was a little bit up and down. We started off 3-0, uh, and beat some high quality uh, out of conference teams, and then um, it kind of went up and down right after that. Um, we couldn't really find our footing, couldn't really find our itch that uh, last year, um, and then we ended up losing and going on a losing streak to end the year. So this year we're, we're, we're trying to come back and uh, be better than last year, obviously. 22-23 um, season, um, it was a it was a bumpy road, a um, lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, yeah, but it. I mean, overall, it was one that, like, we could have been way better if we was to, like, you know, be a more connective team. But, you know, we let a lot of things distract us away from that, so. You know, just, uh, we were just all trying to figure it out. Because, you know, a lot of people, it was like a lot of new people on the team. You know, uh, a lot of people came from different places that, you know, was coached by other coaches and other teams. You know, we all just trying to figure it out. But it just didn't, it just didn't go well with that. Um, the 22-23 season, you know, it was a little tough. Um, I think uh, after a few losses, we realized that we was lacking a little bit of uh, leadership and voices in the locker room. So I think that's things that we addressed early this year and that um, a few of us are ready to step into that role and take over so we don't get lost in those times. Um, in a few words, I would say just a learning experience. Um, Definitely a lot of development. Um, it was fun at first, you know, up and downs, but it's just basketball. So I would just say it was just very learning. It's a learning experience. Um, I'll describe it as as a wake up call. Wake up call for the program, for our coach, and for all the returners. We came in thinking we were better than what we were, and we thought we were more connected than where we were too, just because we got the first three wins. But once we got into the our little slump, we kind of. I feel like we woke up. We woke up towards the end of the year, like not even with wins, but just knowing that we weren't where we were, where we were supposed to be. You guys really did start the season so well. So, what were some promising signs there early on in the season? Maybe some things you saw, even though the losses were coming throughout the rest of the season. I think we were, were we right there with, uh, with, with, with what we were trying to teach the guys. Um, um, we just needed a hundred percent buy-in, and if you don't have that, then kind of the cookie crumbles. So. Um, this year, the guys have been great. They've been listening, um, buying in, which is a big, big key. And then um, I think they're ready to start this season off. Um, maybe not like last year, but then we'll be more consistent and, and get more W's off for this year. Um, just like the chemistry on the court, you know, the first three games, you know, uh, we was moving the ball well. Everybody was hitting shots. Uh, we had a, just like electrifying energy. And yeah, we was just all playing together. So like beginning of the year, we started off 3-0 really hot. We brought, out there, we brought out a bunch of intensity. You know, the crowd was in it. We played well together as a team. So all that helped us, you know, get the huge wins against like these top ranked teams in any, any 10, yeah. Um, I think we had a lot of depth. Um, I think we got a lot of players that can play for us and that can step in and, and play those, uh, like a big role for us this year. So it's just about, um, just, uh, we addressed a lot of things, like getting better throughout the year. I think just a lot of people were buying into the speed of the game, subbing in and out, you know, playing for each other, um, playing with great energy and excitement, and really just taking on the identity of what we were trying to become as a program. You know, I feel like pace involved with shooting and defending and at a, at a high level was something that we came out early and really competed with. The coaching style, we, we got to adjust to the coaching style and 
he didn't do nothing wrong. There was none, no wrongs with our coaching style. It was us. I feel like it was us as a team. And now that we adjusted to it, we understand him more. He understands us. It's a whole different, whole different culture already. Seeing guys just willingly just like fight for each other, and even though like our last what, was like nine games with uh, like three of our main guys being hurt, the next guy stepping up and us playing without a center was really was really promising for us. Um, just the intensity, like the beginning of the season. Um, I remember like. I thought, I've been here for years, so me personally, I thought like the way we started last year, I'm like, we're going to be the best team in the region because, you know, we won three games in a row, we were hot, the, the, the gym was, you know, electrifying, uh, players were playing really well, um, you know, just a lot. And I don't know, like, it was fun. I, I saw, I remember, it was a lot of fun, like, you mean, just being a bench, the energy, which is a lot of fun. Now, this is the second year as a coaching staff, mm -hmm. the second year wiser. Yeah. What are you guys looking to change? as a coaching staff for this upcoming season? Mm -hmm. um, more, more, more so our toughness. Guys being a lot more tougher and durable for the season and throughout games. And um, being more versatile. Every, all, every, all the guys being able to know all the different positions as they should and just being ready to go whenever something happens. I think just the biggest thing is just leadership. You know, amongst the group, like, the head, the head coach, the assistant coaches, you know, the staff, um, we can't want it more than the players. You know, we're a caveat for what they want, so they have to want to drive that. And I always like to tell the guys, like, good teams are coach-driven, great teams are player-driven, and I just want them to have their own identity and desire to want to achieve the goals that they want to as a team. So, uh, for, first of all, it's, I'm glad to be back as a coaching staff. Um, so now what I, I could bring to the table is, you know, my experience because, you know, obviously I've been here for five years now. So I've done seen all the success in UB and all the, you know, the downfall UB. So I can teach like the newer guys, like what it takes to, you know, bring that success back. And then for the older guys, obviously just give them a little wisdom to, you know, help them uh, know their role better so that they could be able to lift up the team and bring a championship back home this year. Um, I think we got... Not even us looking, but we just got leadership back. We got uh, Jaden back, who's, who's been, who was here when, in that 2019, 2020 season where they uh, were, host, were gonna host and then COVID hit. But um, we got Dre, we got a couple guys from that year that knows what it takes to win. Um, so I think our leadership is a little bit better this year. I and mean, it's only so much they wanna hear from us as, as the kids. And um, they, they kind of rally with each other. Um, my, one of my old coaches always said the kids are always going to stick together. So if they're hearing it from their teammates, it's better than hearing it from the coaches every day. So that's always good to have good leadership. What are some things that you guys have learned from the first year now going into the second year together with this group of players? I think the main thing was just to get guys on the bus that are about what we're trying to do as a staff and people that want to be coachable and want to play within the framework of what we're trying to do, you know? So we have a lot of guys with positive energy that are trying to work towards a common goal. And I think that's always a major thing when trying to create a team, guys that want to buy into our overall identity. Uh, it feeds into it a lot because we're, like you said, we're young and the guys, they, they know we can play. We played at high levels and we all know the knowledge of the game very well. And just seeing us in rare form and us still getting out there with them, even in practice sometimes, it, it gives them a lot more encouragement to just be like, all right, I'd like, these guys know what they're doing. And just, it, it is, it's, a good, it's a good morale. Um, so the staff, Crunch, I, I've known Crunch since I've been playing. We went back and forth. I went to Southern Connecticut and we always had battles whenever we played UB. We always used to play them before Christmas break and um, play two, two, three times a year. So I know Crunch for a long time. And then Coach Washington and I, 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 are, are we, we're, good, we're really good friends um, outside before we even started working here. So I think our, our chemistry as coaches, we kind of feed off each other and we're not afraid to, hey, look, hey, Crunch, I think we should do this. Or Coach Washington, I think we should do this. So I think that's a big key as, as a staff. We're not afraid to voice our opinion. And, 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 uh, and Crunch has been great with us, giving us that freedom to, hey, if you got something, let, it, let me know, because I'm still a young head coach and I'm still learning. So I think that's good. We're, we're learning on the fly as we go, but I think that's good. Um, probably um, being more disciplined. Um, I feel like um, last year, like the discipline, like it wasn't really there. So that this year, like as a coaching staff, we should bring that to the table 
you know, bring the intensity up a little more, you know, starts in practice because, you know, how you practice is how you're going to play in the game. So we just try to make the, you know, plays come in every day, you know, work hard, you know, do some individuals, come play pickup, you know, practice. So these little steps is going to really help us take us to the next level. What are some areas of growth or improvement from the end of last season to, you know, right now, right before the start of the new season that you have seen? I think physicality. I think I've gotten a lot stronger in the weight room, and that's a credit to our strength and conditioning um, staff. Um, I also think just guys wanting to really play within the speed of the game and go out there and defend. We put a lot more guys on the court that can guard their positions, and we've tried to increase our size and length across the floor. So we should be a lot bigger, stronger, and more athletic, mixed in with a positive attitude and good leadership, and that should be a difference in you know, a lot of games, I would think, this coming season. Um, I think the energy from one to, uh, we got 28 kids, so from all the way down, we get, got, got great energy. Um, the guys all buying in, they seem to have good com commodity. So um, I think that's a big key. The guys like each other, was a big key. So uh, when they're out there, they're going to try to go through a wall for each other. So um, I think that's one of the big keys. Like we got a good group of guys who enjoy playing with each other and enjoy being with each other. Uh, defensively, guys willing and wanting to really just guard full court for the entire game is, is a big difference for us this year. And it's a huge goal for us because last year guys weren't really engaged into pressing for the entire game. I mean, we know it's like draining, but like it, you have to have a will to want to do it. But this year guys pretty much, they're, by, they're, by, they're brought in pretty early. Uh, so far from the scrimmages, it's been pretty, pretty good. Maturity, like most of the guys that came back, Everybody mature now, you know, now they know, like, we're not going to have the same thing as last year. So we got to come back. We got to play smarter. We got to play harder, you know, and it just, you know, it just takes one day at a time. Uh, a phrase I hear a lot from the coaches is next man up. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Whew. So, I mean, next man up. I mean, I was the next man up, um, you know, last year, you know, two big, big of our big players, uh, Malcolm and Ali, got hurt. And I was the next guy in the rotation, so, you know, it was like my turn, like, you know, my turn to, you know, show up to be there for my team. Uh, you know, we have a lot of guys on our team. Um, you know, it's, that's, our strength is numbers. So with that being said, you know, somebody goes down, somebody's injured, or somebody's like, you know, just not, you know, something's not happening the right way that we wanted to, there's always somebody, you know, ready to take that position, so. Well, we got a lot of newcomers this year. We got a lot of guys that's ready to step into big roles. You know, me, myself, I was redshirted last year, so I'm ready to step in and be kind of that next man up, and we got a lot of, um, New guys that's going to play key minutes for us this year. I just feel like, you know, it don't matter if somebody get injured. Well, it matters, but, you know, if somebody get injured, you know, it's still, we still have other people that could fill in that spot and fill in that role, you know. Nobody, nobody's not going to be, so say if, like, we lose somebody, it's, like, it's not like we're going to lose the game. You know, we always got we, got, we got 20 other people for a reason, you know. So everybody just got to fill in their roles and we all should be good. Whoever's on the floor, whoever is not on the floor is just ready, ready to play their part. Everybody's playing their role. Everybody, everybody's ready to go. Like last year, I feel like everybody wasn't ready to go. Like even me, I can speak for myself a lot. Like I was coming off the bench and I wasn't ready at all. Like I didn't like it. So I was just dwelling on the fact that I wasn't being a starter. Now this year, I feel like we all have our role. We all know that nothing it doesn't matter we're just trying to win to you specifically what makes this group special um the brotherhood you know we got a couple people that has returned back from uh my freshman year you know Jaden and Tamindi you know uh he, he was a part of the group that we went number one in the region so we got I'm glad to have him coming back and like we just have a, a great connection like the whole team from one to all the way to 28 this is great chemistry. I, I, just to hit on the, the leadership again, and I think guys like it's it's last year we were kind of I don't know I don't know it, 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 I don't know it was kind of put together. Um, so this year um, we got new pieces, but I think those all the pieces fit. That's what I'm trying to say. So all our pieces fit. Um, we got speed. We got a little bit more height across the board than last year. So. Um, I think the pieces are starting to fit, and as, as us as coaches, we got to kind of put those pieces in the right spot to make the puzzle.
Um, I think we have a lot of guys that have been around for a while. So we got a lot of veteran guys around the program that uh, know what Coach Crunch wants to imply in the game and um, implement. And uh, so we're just ready to do those things, really. I think just um, the relationships. You know, a lot of these guys were with me when I was an assistant in 2019-20. So I've known these guys for four or five years. I was actually looking through my phone the other day and when we did Trunk or Treat at Wakeman. And I have these guys in 2019. I have a picture of us in Halloween. And it's just like to see how much they've grown and matured. And they're just quality young men. I've got a lot of guys on this program that are about the right things. And I don't have to say things twice. And they'll correct certain behaviors within the group that they see aren't fit and They've seen an example of a team that was number one in the region, so they understand the components that go into and the hard work that it takes. So that's really an exciting part. And that was the big part of me coming back for this job was just to be with these group of guys and help them to achieve something that we were on the cusp of doing back then, but now a chance to see it out and have them as they were role players in this situation, but now they're the leaders. So this is going to be an excellent experience to be with guys that I really enjoy coming to work every day and working with this group. And that's probably been the biggest experience. I let them know that, you know, they're really working hard and that gives me a lot of energy. It's going to give me the opportunity to really coach, you know, again. So I'm excited about that. Our, our brother, uh, last year it wasn't really, it wasn't as much of a brother as it should have been. This year we're all together. We're all, we're doing stuff outside of the court. We're doing stuff on, on the court. We're, we're always together through through the day, really. They're they're I would say they're they're way more together and in tune with each other than they have been, and it's pretty it's pretty is it I, I I have to say having some of the guys back that didn't play last year is a big part of it because the leadership qualities that we didn't have so much we had it but we didn't have more of a vocal part of it, but it's it's playing a big part right now. Their togetherness, uh, be like on and off the court. On the court, you know, like we just took together. Uh, off the court, we like the same way. Like, you know, we're like brothers. Like, I'm with these guys all day. Whether it's classes, whether it's like in the cafeteria, we sit together. So it's like, you know, we're well connected. This year, simply, what's the goal? Championship. Conference championship, region championship. Just win games. Have fun with it, too, at the same time. <sighs> the win. Win, bring home a championship. Get back on the map. You know, they got us number six this year. I mean, I personally love it, you know, so they don't believe in us, but, you know, we got each other, so I believe we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna bring it home this year. Uh, conference championship, make the tournament, and try to make some noise. We got, we got a lot of goals, but the main goal is a championship, conference championship. To win. Uh, you know, I just want to win. Uh, I think we got a lot of winners on our team. I came, this is my last year, it's my last go around. I'll probably never be able to play collegiate basketball ever again in my life, or I can't actually. Um, so with that being said, you know, I'd rather go out with a bang. I know some of us want the same thing too. Last year we fell, you know, way short to our promising season. And this year I feel like we've been working really hard and we deserve it. Um, you know, just put Bridgeport back on the map. Oh, um, you know, just, this is my last year. Hopefully I'm just trying to have a great year, you know, uh, to make a name for myself. You're definitely going to get an established, more established DeAndre, you know, hitting threes, playing defense. Uh, just being that uh, electric person, you know, bringing the energy. So, yeah, hopefully we can just win the championship and everything else is going to speak for itself. Oh, well, obviously it's a winning championship. I think we have the talent to win the conference championship and with that, get into the NCAA tournament. Um, obviously, you get into the NCAA, back, UB back to the NCAA tournament is a big goal for us. Um, they have a huge pedigree. We've been, we, we had a scrimmage up in Malloy. We had some guys from the national championship team there. They talked to us. So, University of Bridgeport has a rich tradition, and we're just trying to get these guys back to that tradition of, of winning. I think the goal for this season is to, you know, anytime you're getting into a season, I think you want to have a chance to win the regular season title, and we're going to compete for that. We want to get up to a 20 win mark. You know, we got to double digits at 10, but if we can get to the 20 win mark and have a chance to get to the NCAA tournament, I think that's the goal here at University of Bridgeport. Um, we have a rich tradition where they went to national championships, so when you're in a school that has won NCAA games, you want to try to get back to that NCAA tournament and give ourselves a chance there to see what can happen.